Hello everyone, I'm Augusta Myers. Welcome to One Albuquerque Media and this week's City News Brief. Mayor Keller delivered his sixth State of the City address at a community event hosted at the Albuquerque Biopark Zoo last week. The gathering brought over 1,300 people together to learn about city efforts on a range of fronts, including public safety, housing, and homelessness solutions, and creating safe, vibrant third places for people of all ages to find belonging in our communities. Albuquerque Community Safety and its partners assisted a record number of participants at a recent Connect to Care event, which took place at the International District Library. A total of 57 members of the unhoused community visited the August 6th pop-up event, where they took housing assessments, were offered transportation to shelters, had access to medical treatment, and received many other services. ABQ Ride is working to return bus service that was paused due to staffing shortages. They're happy to report, however, that the popular West Side Route 790 returns as an important link from the west side of Albuquerque to the university area and major destinations in central Albuquerque, including Old Town and Downtown. One change, though, it will, in addition to serving UNM, now also serve CNM. And City Parks and Rec has added shade structures and drinking fountains to dozens of parks across Albuquerque, with more coming this year. These amenities help residents spend more time at parks, especially during these hot summer months. Currently, 29 city parks have drinking fountains. Over the next year, eight more locations will get some. Since 2018, PRD has invested roughly $1.6 million on 40 shade structure projects in city parks. And that wraps up this week's edition. We hope you join us again next week for the latest city news right here on One Albuquerque Media. I'm Augusta Myers. We'll see you next time.